departure. Okay, well, I mean, that's generally pretty solid advice regardless. Please check your cargo before departure. Um, I would like you, oh, please and thanks, to go ahead and drop down... Attack targets in range? No, no. Uh, I want you to drop a satellite. The ship will be undocking soon. Explosives clear... 65k. Fast flight. And... Some other mission here. I don't know what it is, but... I want to drop a uh, satellite just so that we know in the future. What uh, what trades can be made here. Because eventually we're going to want to come over here and make use of them. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. But I would love it if we could find some more hidden objects to go and uh, interact with. Got at least... Well, there's one unknown station down here that we go and visit. So I'll add... this area to... fly and wait. After that. We'll leave this sector. Now, we spent almost half a million on setting up our mining ship. It may be quite some time before we start to see a return on that, sadly. Uh, what kind of trading is going on here? Let's turn off mining. Don't need to know. Trading-wise, though, or 55. I mean, that's going to be just pure profit for us. Um... Okay, scanning arrays. Can those be bought anyway? They're barely any value. Uh, what about advanced electronics? They can't be bought anyway. Uh, what about engine parts? Uh, not... I mean, you'd make a little bit, but they're probably big for making that little bit. What about silicon wafers? Um, some okay profits to be made there. Alright. Um, Antimatter cells? No, apparently. Medical supplies? Not really that good. What about silicon wafers, though? Can I bring that up in the encyclopedia? How big are they? Show anything about this? Why am I controlling Shadar Jard? Oh no, did I send Shadar Jard down there? I don't think I did. No, no, we definitely didn't. Also, let's have a watch of this. We. Have we sold our all yet? I don't think so. Star Citizen has actually become a playable game of sorts of late. A fantastically incomplete one, of course, but it's crossed out of tech demo territory. Their monetization still feels super dirty and scammy, though. Yeah, I've, uh, I don't know. There's something about the monetization in um, uh, SC that doesn't fill me with confidence about the, the game, honestly. I think we're going to deploy... Are we deploying a probe over here? No. So, what I would like you to do then is deploy a resource. Oh, we don't have any. Oh, okay, never mind then. I'll have to use something else to do that. But we do have some scanners that we can deploy. Um, that is a. Why is that advanced satellite red? Ooh. Is that an enemy advanced satellite? Oh, I do have a resource probe in that area already. Thank you so much for pointing that out. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, my brain. But you're right. Uh, what I should have been looking for is, is these 
icons. It. There's that lock box and the nav beacon pointing to it. That we're eventually going to want to. Ooh. It's a raiding party down there. Uh, I will have Unsinkable 2, and yes, that is a name very intentional. Uh, pop another satellite there. Then finally pop a satellite here. I want to cover pretty much every station except for... Um, defense stations with satellites. Very much want to have solid eyes on what's going on in this sector. And fly over there. Let's have a look at Shadar Jard. Up to 6,000 units of... Uh, 6,000 meters cubed of all. Nice. Yeah, no, I, I can completely understand why why you feel betrayed by that um, affair. That I mean, you you feel that your patronage as an Xbox user helped to rise the game to prominence, and then you were abandoned later on. Hello, uh, Suvasis. Thank you very much for being subscribed on YouTube. I hope you enjoy the content there. All right, hopefully our ship will make its own way there, but uh, other than that, silicon wafers seem to be one of the ways to go. We would be making less than 100 credits per. Again, can I, can I bring that up somewhere? Can I see silicon wafers as a... Bit of info. I wonder. Let's go to the encyclopedia. Silicon wafers. Where's where's silicon wafers? Eighteen meters cubed. That's quite a lot for only a hundred credits. I mean, if I have enough money and I've got a big enough trade ship, it doesn't matter. But still, or is a ten meters cubed per average price of fifty? Still. That's not going to be an awful amount of money, but it takes a long time to fill up the cargo hold of our miner. Did I play Pioneer Open Source Space Trade Sim? Um, I'm not familiar with that, so probably not. I can't ever say that I absolutely haven't, unless you can give me the exact name. Is it called Pioneer? I couldn't quite tell from the the, the comment, but uh, I can't... Unless you mean Privateer. If you mean Privateer, yes, I totally did play that. But Pioneer, no. Autogog said, uh, I put down £45 for a starter ship in... Oh, 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 what, what are we doing? Uh, a starter ship and played the game and had fun. Uh, this is about uh, Star Citizen. It's definitely not done, but it is leagues better than Elite at this point. However, Elite has a functioning economy. The pretty graphics and jank only go so far. Well, to be honest, what I would say then in that 
particular scenario is that Elite is the better game, whereas SE is the better toy. And I, I really... I feel there is a nuanced but very important distinction between a toy and a game. PioneerSpaceSim.net. I will check that out, uh, Sav uh, Savas. Uh, I'm sorry that Nightbot smacked you there, but uh, yeah, Nightbot is a bit finicky about links in chat, but I can see it, and I'll uh, check that out. Uh, I'm probably the only person around whose first entry into this genre was Origins of Space Rogue. Pfft, no idea. SE is a very pretty tech demo plus. Well, I mean, quite a few people have said that it's no longer just a tech demo, and I, I do, uh, I trust their judgment on that one. But, uh, yeah, I, I would say that if, if you're saying, well, it's better than, you know, it's much better than Elite, but Elite has a functioning economy, considering that basically it's space combat and space trading. Trading is a, an enormous part of it. Um, so if, like, if you just said that Elite had a better economy, I, I'd say, well, if the combat in, in Star Citizen is, is just that much better, then it's still a comparable game. But the, the use of the word functioning implies that there is no functioning economy in, in SC. And that, honestly, with this sort of game, that, that's a pretty huge chunk of the game not there. It's kind of like Starbase, and I, it hurts me to say that about Starbase. It really does, but... Starbase was an amazing game. Absolutely wonderful. Building ships was a joy. Or the jank was a joy. That's the that's the silly thing. It was so fun to do that even the stupid stuff was fun because it was part of the whole. But there basically wasn't an economy there. There wasn't a game there. There wasn't a game in Starbase. I wish there was. I also wish that you know, it because it, it kind of feels like um, one of those scenarios where people felt that the game wasn't, there wasn't enough of a game, and so it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like, what they had there was quite capable of becoming the game that everyone wanted it to be. But they they released it a little bit too early. Perhaps there was you know economic pressures that, that forced their hand a little bit with that. But there wasn't much of a game there, and people became so disgruntled by the lack of game that they voiced their opinions about how lack of game it was, and thereby sealed the coffin of it. I'm not saying that there should be any degree of um, misrepresentation in like steam reviews or anything like that but the the worst part is some of the steam reviews you could feel through what they'd written how much they wanted it to work they were frustrated that it hadn't and by voicing that frustration they ensured that it wouldn't if that makes sense not particularly an elegant way to to put it so i, I hope the point comes across but uh It definitely felt like shooting your own foot a little bit. Yeah, a game without an economy is more of a simulation quite often. Yeah, yeah, and, and as a simulation, it was a fantastic simulation. I really, really think that it could have become something. But it, it and it wasn't just that players weren't putting the work in to make an economy because there was something of a player economy there in salvaging ships and, and the, the dog fights and the battles which created the, the gr ship graveyards for people to salvage and all of that sort of stuff the, the, there wasn't enough of, an, of game infrastructure there to support what the players were trying to create and that ultimately, you know meant that there wasn't a game and it is a shame, but it is what it is, I guess. Yes, yeah, so simulations can be hell, hella fun. Yes, no, absolutely. Star However, Starbase is still being worked on actively. It really is not. Starbase is 
like I, I I would I would very firmly say actively is not the right word to work, use there. It is being worked on, but it is not being worked on actively. Actively kind of ha carries with it this Im implication that uh, a a sizable fraction of the the dev studio are pushing the game and trying to finish it and flesh it out, and that's not the case. It it's got a little bit of community management and they are actively fixing bugs. I will say they're actively doing that, but they, there's not really... The game isn't being expanded right now. It's just a, a bunch of stuff that was half-finished got pushed through. Yeah, X4 is entirely solo. Yep. How does this compare with EVE Online, player base? Uh, yeah, this is this is a 100% solo experience. It, it's basically a full-on space sandbox, so it, it's uh, emulating the other players, I guess you could say, in, the, in something of a living world. Like, there are traders, there are factions, uh, you know, lines are moving around, the economy is, is fully realized and simulated, but there are no other players. Starbase was such a wonderful game, but the griefers made it too difficult to do it. I, I disagree with that, honestly. I feel that saying the the griefers, considering I, you could spend so long and never come across another person, unless you went somewhere where there was something to do. And, and that's kind of what I, I was saying before: is that the the the, the, the the PvPers were creating an economy. They created the foundation for that. In that they blew up ships, making a need for people to get more ships, making a an area where ships could be salvaged. And they were pretty much localized to a certain spot. They, you could easily avoid any of that. Ooh, there we go. New balance. We just made 55k. I mean, it's not amazing, considering the ship cost 10 times that much. Uh, you know, that's okay. Um, however, with regards to, to Starbase and the, and the PvP, I I don't feel... Well, I mean... Perhaps you didn't mean PvP is grief, so I shouldn't thrust those words into your mouth, and that's very unfair of me. Um, but I, I've saw a lot of people equate any degree of PvP to griefing, and it absolutely wasn't. The game was a, effectively a... PvP game. Like it or not, that's what the game was. Um, it, it offered you a, a degree of safety to learn and, and start to develop in the, in the safe zones around the starting areas, but all of the super interesting stuff happened at, at danger, uh, in, in space where you could be attacked, and that created a necessary part of the of the game loop and the, and the cycle of life of the game, in, in a sense. You couldn't just have people build ships and never be under any kind of threat and be able to explore all of the content as they wanted to without that threat. Because And some games allow for that, but they are built around that idea. Starbase was never built around that. Starbase was always built and you can even see that in the earliest videos. It was built with the idea of player-on-player -player combat. Yeah, I think X4 actually has immense strength for being single-player only. It's a damn nice break from all the games that require you to be online. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I agree with that. Good morning, Merlin Rafiki. Thank you very much for the 43 months. Diochen Varian. But I, I will say that in terms of the the griefing, there were there were some people who actively did did things, but they were generally so few in, in the same kind of ratio as any other game. Like I don't think Starbase's fall could put, be put down to them. You know, implying that they weren't there at all is is as silly as implying that they were the the, the reason the game didn't succeed. The game didn't succeed because it was too soon and not enough. The TLDR, the game was released too soon and there wasn't enough game in the game. That's why it didn't get the sort of financial 
and critical success that it was hoping for. Ooh, X4. It's been so long since I played game uh, games of the series. More or less my first time. Right. At this point, we should be deploying a satellite just about there. And then we're going to fly most of the way over here, but I'm a little bit... Uh I feel that the 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 ship is a bit a bit slow. Not gonna lie. All right, how are you doing at this point? Are you filling up nice and fast? No, you haven't got popped anything inside yet. Oh, you are taking a long time. Oh no, there you are. You are mining. I was gonna say you're taking an enormously long time to unload, but you have already unloaded. That's fine. All right, let's have a quick look here. I mean, obviously, all of this is, is my opinion more than, than anything else, but, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely interesting to talk about. We're coming back to what we were originally talking, uh, speaking about in, in the, the whole console port thing. It, have they, have they straight up said that they will not, like, they've stopped working on it and they have no plans to continue working on it? Uh, that is Elite Dangerous. See, why why do you fly straight through? Why don't you fly us over? I feel that that would be easy, you know? Got a couple of missions around the place. Actually, on that note, mission offers. Peace and stability. Not patrolling one of our sectors to ensure that uh, everything is peaceful. Priceless art stolen. Medium. Uh, I'm not really interested in that mission right now. They've continu discontinued any further progress on the consoles. That must be a hell of a thing, though. So, the the thing that I'm thinking about is, from the point of view of a business, if you've already invested effort into even the, the, the slightest degree of um, support for doing that work, so the infrastructure, the dev teams, the dev tools, the licenses, because the licenses that develop for, for consoles are quite often not it's not just a case of you make a game, you do, you sell the game. Quite often, you have to have a license to work on it um, and to sell uh, at the various stores. After that level of investment, which is probably not insubstantial, for them to just pull the plug, it's like, why? Why did they pull the plug? Why would they want to get to to drop that so aggressively? Weird. Dude. I have not watched the Bloods Lightyear movie yet. Um, I'm not sure if I will, to be honest, but I'm glad that you liked it. I, I'll revisit that in terms of my movie list. Something to do with the with Odyssey and the refactoring involved. They've transferred those resources back to um, Elite Dangerous for PC, as far as I know. Okay. Well, I mean, they, they would have, yeah, the, like the p people working on it, definitely. But like dev tools for a console. That's not something you can transfer to PC. Um, likewise, you know, having people work on something, if they don't finish it, is dead money because you're paying their wage whether they did or did not. Like paying the wage on a UX designer to refactor the design to better fit consoles over PC. Like, even if you keep that person or they are on staff and then you have them work on something else, you still don't get the money that you spent on their wages while they were working on the console port. So that's still dead money. And from a business point of view, I can't imagine that decision would have been made lightly. That's not just something that they'll do just for the sake of it. That's, that's a very interesting scenario. It does make me kind of want to be a fly on the wall of that corporate meeting where they decided, look, you know, we're going to have to do this. You know, all this money that we've already spent on this thing? Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to cut our losses because we, whatever, can't do it or we realized that 
it's impossible to achieve what we're looking for. And as much as some people don't like hearing this, also, there is a certain degree with some... Uh, oh, hang on a sec. Was that a star down there? Um, there's a certain degree of... Um, if you can't do a good version of something, don't do it. Because it is worse to... Right, I'm going to take control, mate. Hello. It's worse to put out uh, a bad version of something than to not put out something at all. And as much as some people would disagree with that, like, um, that's a really common thing amongst chefs. Like, they, if they feel that they're... Let's have a look for, like, shinies. Like, I think that flashing green light over there is probably my own loot box, <laughs> thinking about where we are. But um, we can possibly have a look for some... from some crystals um but it's, it's a common thing amongst uh chefs where they would sooner not serve food at all and send people who've already booked a table away than serve bad food because people will be pissed off that they didn't get to eat but people will be savage if what they got to eat was bad and they will leave because you can't poorly review food you didn't get. You can poorly review the service, but honestly, that's actually one of the least important things for the, you know, the uh, for a chef. I mean, service is important for the restaurant, true, but the food is what sells people being there, unless the service is absolutely abysmal. But I imagine it's somewhat similar for games companies. They would rather put out... Uh, they would rather, like, not put out anything at all and not get critically abysmal reviews than put it out and then get absolutely slammed and then all the money they invested in the production of it is wasted anyway because it's not going to sell enough copies to even make that back so then it's just throwing good money after bad this is just conjecture I'm just kind of playing devil's advocate a little bit but I often find that it's a useful practice to do especially when It's something where it's very nebulous what the reasons behind it are. Try, try and think of what reasons could there be behind something like that. Why would they waste all of that money? Because they definitely wasted money by stopping. So they, from a like, just purely business point of view, they must have made a decision that they would waste more money by continuing than by stopping. I'm not seeing any crystals in here. And that makes me sad, actually. I was really expecting that we would find some stuff. Yeah, I'm just not seeing... Oh, wait, no. Is that something? Bloody space debris. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, someone told me that when you, uh... Bump into things, you only hurt your shields. <laughs> what happens when you don't have any left? I've been trying to figure out how to play this game for so long. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not the person to show you how to play this game. I can show you how I'm enjoying probably playing this game poorly. That that said, but I'm just I'm just playing the sandbox. I'm just enjoying myself and uh, exploring, and I'm loving the opportunity to talk so much with chat. Uh, slow us right down. Let's we'll start using our thrusters here. Back. That's right. Ooh. Hang on a second. What are you? I want to know what you are. Let me see. Now, can I mine that or do I shoot it? Chat was unclear on that last bit when we were talking about it earlier. Also, how the heck do I even get catch up to it? Stop rotating, you bloody asteroid. Shoot equals mine. Uh, yes. Uh, 
Hello. Where are you? Please tell me I haven't missed it. If I missed my chance. Oh my god, it got past me. Scallywag! This is why I don't get into combat. <laughs> this would be me trying to line up a shot on my enemy. Poorly, and then I die. Do you even lock on it? Oh, actually, you know what? I should put on scanning mode. I'm not sure if that would help, but... Makes my ship nice and purple, though, but so, you know, there is that. So go around the other side and try and find it. Um. Um. Reverse! Ugh. Bloody irregular shapes. Okay, we're still not out of the woods yet. More reverse. Reverse harder. Okay, we should be safe here, I think. I see some of you asteroids just barely even moving. And then I have to go and decide to try and mine this one. I... Yeah, you can get out of your ship on station, and just at any time I could get out of my ship right now if I wanted to. Please halt. We will be scanning your uh, inventory. I've done nothing wrong yet. I've done nothing wrong yet. All clear. You can be on your way. Uh, can I stay? Okay, well, so far the whole the whole mining of the crystals not great, going to be honest. Not having a great time with that. Also, I should probably not just back up in an asteroid field. As far as things go, that's probably ill-advised. Is there anywhere else? Any other shinies that maybe aren't on, on asteroids rotating so aggressively? Isn't that a mining laser? I don't have one on this ship. This is not a mining ship. This ship can't even fit mining lasers. As far as I'm aware. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it didn't seem that it was an option in the fitting set, um, window when I last looked. I love the shadows being cast by the other asteroids, though. Holy Order of the Pontifex Station under construction. Oh, that's nice for them. But what I really want to learn is how to mine for crystals. Okay, birthday sleep for me. Take care. Okay, take care, Neo Shadow. And uh, congratulations on uh, making another trip around the sun. Yeah, I can't even see the purple crystal anymore. It is gone from us. Sad to say, but it is, it is a thing that is now no longer here. Much sadness. We have lost the crystal, the only one that we saw. Wait, I see you. Yes. Okay, let's get over there. Wapow. Hi. Slow down. 
There we go. Sup? Okay, you're rotating, but hopefully rotating a bit slower. Okay, let's get in position and unload. Okay, we're seeing some... Oh, something just popped off. Many somethings popped off. Come hither. Okay, we are getting something. Hooray! <laughs> Finally. Okay, let's have a quick look at what that is. Again, chat, I really want to stress how thankful I am for you being so <laughs> patient with me, learning how to play this game. Uh, oh, it's not stored in there, so is it stored on me? I guess so. Oh, 10,000 each? A crystal discovered at the heart of an asteroid in Kingdom End. Uh, Manelani is named after the then princess of the Queendom of Boron. Uh, Menelas. Uh, Menelaus, sorry. Many a miner have since found this rare crystal in asteroids scattered throughout space. And though many simply sell the crystal for a profit, some choose to hold on to the precious stone in the hope that the Boron may one day re-emerge from the darkness. I see. Also, it got dark shockingly fast. Oh, wait, that's because <laughs> I still had that open. Never mind, never mind. We're good. More crystals? All right, we'll have a... Wait a sec. Is that a crystal just sticking off there? I think it might be, actually. What are you? Oh, you're an asteroid. Never mind. Lies. You're a fibber. You're pretending to be a blue crystal. But in actual fact, you're simply an asteroid whose contents I know to be of some value. But this is not a mining ship. Oh, wait. Was that a glint I saw? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go. Sure, the glint was just down here, but uh, I don't see it anymore, sadly. Also, I've got to wait for my shield to recharge. Wait, I left the X unit after X2. What are the Borons in uh, Why are the Borons in hiding? I loved interacting with them. Uh, are You Serious says, Gate Network got buggered. And then the and the Boron are somewhat still lost. Somewhat still. Have a little. We'll look for a few more moments, but I actually don't think the scanner is helping me at all. I think, in fact, it was hindering me. Yeah, gate, ne uh, gate connection shut down. X4 is after the gate connection was rebooted. Honestly, I'm kind of... Oh, chat, you know what we haven't done? We haven't looked at that lore entry. <sighs> Let's go and look at it now. Foundation of the Federation. Foundation of the Federation. Building themselves up from nothing after facing complete annihilation by the terraformers in the terraformer conflict, the Argon spread throughout the Jumpgate network at a far slower rate than the original Terran settlers. During this time, there were of course many disagreements over the direction of the Argon people, leading to the secession of both the Hatikva Free League and Free State of Solara from Argon Prime leadership. Despite their differences, however, they were able to join in an alliance, and in 241 MT, the covenant creating the Argon Federation, with Argon Prime at its capital, was signed. Ah. We'll check out the other entry in a moment, though. I didn't realize it was going to be voice acted. 
and just listening to random things in an asteroid field feels a little bit silly. I saw the glint. If you can't hide from me, unless you can. There we are. Uh, let's cut engines almost completely and... Aim sucks. Super sucks, actually. Fair, if I was firing at ships, I'd be firing at bigger targets, but still. This feels clumsy. There we go. Achievement progress. It fell out of a ship. Uh, okay. Let's go and have a look at that. What did we just pick up? Uh, they are worth significantly less. That sucks. First collected by an explorer from the asteroid in Ore Belt. Uh, Bandanite was named after the legendary Ban Dana, an Argon military commander and war hero before the jump gate shut down. Rediscovered across the entire jump gate network after the realignment, the crystal is not the rarest, but still fetch a good sum. Ban Dana. Really? My lord. Huh, it's a lot easier to aim on us. Yeah, I. Imagine it probably is actually. Is that another bit of something over there? No, that's lights on the uh, highway, I think. Okay, I'm almost done with doing the uh, exploration over here. If I can't see something very quickly, we're going to just resume our uh, trip that we were doing before. I wonder, how easy it is, is it? Oh, I don't have... I can steer, but... Asteroid. Asteroid. Yeah, I don't, I don't have uh, combat. That's fine. I need to get better at, at uh, combat with my ship, ultimately. Uh, with the uh, the stick, rather. Hello. Hello. Uh, would you like to continue on your way? Got some more places to be, really. Resource probes around the place. A couple of miners. Um. Remove all orders. See, that is probably going to be a uh, a turret of some sort, I'm guessing. Wow! There's a lot of stuff going down over here. Explore that a bit. Uh, I should have scanned before I did that, but oh well. Uh, let's head on over here, fly and wait, and then I'll do a quick uh, scan for interesting sites. But we've got loads of stuff down here that we can go and check out. How are you doing? Okay, you're almost ready to go and make another 50k. Oh, a question. Does your throttle have thumbstick on it and have you considered binding translation uh, to it basically for left right up down translation as well as forward backwards of the engine uh yes and i have been using that it's not very obvious i've only been using it a little bit but yeah i got left right up and down 